All very tight. 23 from six. A run-up speed of just about 25 kilometers per hour, resulting in a delivery clicking as high as 160 kilometers per hour. How does a human body impart nearly six times its speed to the ball in a matter of seconds? A fast bowler generates momentum by running onto the pitch. By planting the front foot firm and straight onto the pitch, the bowler transfers the momentum upwards through some of the largest muscles of the leg, the pelvis and the torso to the relatively smaller muscles of the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist and is finally imparted to the ball. To understand what happens within the bowler's body, let's observe a tapered Newton's cradle. Notice how a slight movement of the largest sphere sends the smallest sphere flying off at a much greater speed. Any mass in motion has momentum, whose value is the product of its mass and speed. As this momentum gets transferred along the cradle through balls of reducing mass, the speed attained by the smallest sphere is much greater than the speed of the largest sphere. Similarly, the momentum generated by the bowler's run-up travels through the bigger muscles of the body to the successively smaller muscles that eventually results in a blistering delivery. This movement of larger segments of the body to accelerate the smaller segments, forming a link or chain, producing a greater final output, is termed as the principle of kinetic linking of the human body. Where else can this principle of kinetic linking be applied? Comment your views and stay tuned to Wicket to Wicket.